You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. A Georgia grand jury has indicted Travis McMichael, Greg McMichael, and William Bryan on malice and felony murder charges in the February 23rd murder of Ahmaud Arbery. The indictment returned today formally charges each of the three defendants with nine counts, malice murder, felony murder, four counts, aggravated assault, two counts, false imprisonment, and criminal attempt to commit false imprisonment. We certainly have been covering this story, and we'll give you the latest on exactly what happens in that case. Uh, it is uh, not a shock there, of course, once the Georgia Bureau of Investigation got involved uh, and then led the arrest of those three. Joining me right now is A. Scott Bolden, former chair of the National Bar Association Political Action Committee, Robert Patillo, executive director of Rainbow Push Coalition Peachtree Street Project, Lawn Victoria Burke, who writes for NNPA. Uh, Robert, I want to start with you there in Georgia. Again, uh, uh, th this is a stark contrast to those first three district attorneys who pretty much sat on this case. Uh, this, this case has picked up steam since the GBI took it over. Absolutely. And I think what was the most important was that video coming out. Uh, once you started looking into the inconsistencies in the stories of the McMichaels, also the uh, statements from the uh, police officers who responded at the scene, stating that they wanted to arrest them at that time, but the district attorney would not allow them to. Uh, once we found out the information about there being no string of break-ins, um, and also the testimony from the third um, the third co-defendant stating that after the shooting, um, Travis McMichael stood over the body and said uh, a racial slur effing N-word um, to the dead body of uh, Mr. Aubrey. I think with that information uh, being available, that there was no way this was coming back from a grand jury without an indictment. The next steps will be the preliminary hearing in Georgia, uh, but because we have a statewide judicial emergency due to coronavirus, uh, after the preliminary hearing, it's an unknown at this time what the timetable for trial will be. Um, this, of course, uh, Scott, uh, again, uh, is an important case. Bottom line is, once you got it out of the hands of those local DAs who are very close to the McMichaels, you saw how justice should work. Yeah, you certainly did. And the Georgia Bureau of Investigation is one of the best state investigation uh, teams out there, based on my experience. Uh, the indictments were almost presumed, and now that you have them. But look for the defense of these individuals to try to move this case out of their county. It's being prosecuted by another county uh, prosecutor. And so we'll have to stay vigilant uh, my colleague is right. We've got this emergency with COVID, and it looks like we're going to look, be looking at a second round. But at the same time, uh, there's a lot of work to be done if the judiciary is down because of COVID. And look for the pressure to stay on to develop the tightest case, the best case, and a case whereby you can pick a fair and impartial juror, jury and uh, bring these convictions in the state of Georgia. So we'll have to stay tuned for it. And but this wasn't really a lot of news. This was just confirmation news today. And, Lauren, this is exactly what happens when you have a public pressure. Uh, when that video came to light, bottom line is that's what changed this entire story. Uh, and again, action should be taken against those particular uh, police officers because they're, excuse me, those DAs, because their their lack of action was shocking, stunning, and abomination. Oh, it was absolutely ridiculous. As, as Robert already said, the video was everything. Without the video, we wouldn't be sitting here. Without the video, this would not have gone viral. I've known about it. Uh, news organizations would not flood it in and repeat it and repeat played that video over and over again. So the video was absolutely everything. Uh, absolutely. And so we're seeing more and more of these cases uh, where video plays a critical role in terms of us being able to see uh, what happened. All right, folks, back to that video in just one moment. Mary Spiel, her sister, she is actually the inventor, creator of these uh, great headphones. Also, she has a vi virtual reality headset. You can actually get uh, these folks with a promo code in partnership with us at Roller Martin Unfiltered. All you got to simply do is uh, use this code RMVIP2020 when you go to seek.com. That's seek.com, C-E-E-K.com. And so these are 360-degree uh, 4D headphones. 
You can use them for gaming. You can listen to music. You could also, of course, uh, use them for you know any number of purposes. Uh, absolutely fabulous. You also see there the virtual reality headset they have as well. And so you could use that promo code for either one of these two devices. And we certainly appreciate them being a partner. Seek.com. The promo code is RMVIP2020.